So, now let us find out the differential coefficients of the trigonometric functions or derivatives of the trigonometric functions such as sin x, cos x, tan x, cot x, secant x and cosecant x. So, first let us find out the differential coefficient of sin x. So, let us suppose f of x is equal to sin x. Now, f of x plus h becomes sin of x plus h. Am I correct? Now, we know that dy by dx or f dash x is equal to f of x plus h limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h. So, this is limit h tends to 0 sin of x plus h minus sin x by h. This is sin of a plus b formula. What is sin of a plus b formula? Sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. Now, limit h tends to 0 sin x cos h plus cos x sin h minus sin x by h. Now, let us do one thing. From these two take sin x common. So, limit h tends to 0 from these two sin x common. If we take sin x common out, we have cos h a cos h minus 1 am I correct by h plus cos x into sin h by h. Now, apply this limit to the first term as well as the second term. Now, limit h tends to 0 this sin x into cos h minus 1 by h plus cos x into limit h tends to 0 sin h by h. So, now if you substitute the limit cos 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 0, 0 into something 0, 0 by 0 this become 0, this become 0. Now, 0 plus cos x into this is 1, so cos x. So, therefore, d by dx of sin x is equal to cos x. Derivative of sin x with respect to x is cos x. Now, let us find out the derivative of the cos x. Let us find out the derivative of the cos x. Let f of x is equal to cos x. Now, f of x plus h this is cos of x plus h. Now, here dy by dx or f dash x both are same limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h. This is equal to limit h tends to 0 cos of x plus h minus cos x by h. Either cos of a plus b formula we can apply or cos c minus cos d we can apply. What is cos c minus cos d? That is limit h tends to 0 minus 2 sin of 
x plus h plus x by 2 sin of x plus h minus x by 2 by h. This x, x gets cancelled. Now, minus 2 common, we have minus 2 common, this can be written limit h tends to 0 sin of x plus h by 2 into sin h by 2 by h. Now, this 2 by h can be written as minus limit h tends to 0 sin of x plus h by 2 into limit here h by 2 tends to 0 sin of h by 2 by h by 2. Just observe this is in the form of limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta is 1. So, now this becomes 1 put h for 0 here. So, we get minus sin of x plus 0 into 1. So, minus sin x into 1. So, equal to minus sin x. So, what is the derivative of cos x? The derivative of cos x with respect to x is minus sin x. So, therefore, d by dx of cos x equal to minus sin x. Differential coefficient of cos x with respect to x is minus sin x.